Good morning, Matthew Johnson here from day two of the Oregon Trail Rally. Coming to you right now from the Dalles, Oregon. This is where day two is based and where the service area will be all day. Momentarily, the cars are gonna start leaving, heading up into those mountain stages at the base of Mount Hood. As far as I can tell, these stages this morning are gonna be some of the most challenging of the event. Have you mentally put yourself together for that? Trying to. Um, <laughs> we were just going over the notes and saying how technical the first two stages are and I think it, then it opens up after that. Uh, for Mountain Ketchum today they're both pretty rough especially Ketchum so I'm hoping just to make through both passes and make it to the rest of the stages this afternoon. We put the car a little higher for the uh, that bad stage with the big storm. The stages today are like legitimate nasty woods rallying where you don't make mistakes. Is this the way you always drive or are you going to change it today a little bit? No, no, that's how we drive. <laughs> it's about 350, 400 horsepower so you know it's, it's up there. Well, yesterday the strategy was just to get get through it, not uh, to damage the car. Today, though, it's a little bit different. Today we're going to push. Maximum attack this morning, for sure. I, I'm nine seconds behind and I want to I wanna go hard in the first one. The second one is a bit rougher. Maybe we'll be a little bit more careful, but uh, definitely I want to push in the first one this morning. And now, now we're out in the forest and uh, it's going to be dirt and mud and snow and disaster. And I'm looking forward to it because that's where we like to race. It might be smart to have like some tooth bears, but we don't really have space. We got a man down! Man down! Uh. I mean, this is a race, you know? You gotta, you gotta go as fast as you can. I found out, found out that uh, I suck on the first stage so then we just tried our best and went uh, much harder than uh, kind of planned on, on the second one and uh, we did a good stage, um, we actually won it so surprise surprise. Well, I'm not quite sure if these rally drivers were uh, trying to go too fast. That's a skid plate. Not a good morning. We had a, a problem with the, the fly-by-wire throttle. Something in the electronic was not working. I had nothing. I had to stop. And then uh, three miles from the end, uh, we got a puncture. So, um, as you can see, not not what I wanted, but that's rally. But we're still in second. We're about uh, 17 seconds up on we Leo. We came over this blowing crest in fourth gear, just pure mud, and we bounced off the road, hit hit some real heavy trees, and. 
you know, to be honest, we're very, very lucky to, to, to be here. I, I literally closed my eyes and pinned the throttle to hope it would come out, and yeah. thankfully it did, and there's not too much damage, and the guys here will do a good job and put us back straight again. Uh, I've broken all the rear suspension arms, so just got to um, fix that, and we'll be back in it. We've got 40 minutes, so there we go. Hit some big boulders, um, and we're able to limp the car back here destroyed the radiator, skid plate, subframe, control arms, rims, tires. Okay, you said enough. See the impact there. I gotta be honest, this is the part of rallying I do not miss. <laughs> These stressful times trying to replace a bunch of parts on your car when you may or may not actually have those parts. Oh, it's a bummer. Some of these vehicles, it's so rough maybe that they just simply can't take it unless you slow down a little bit and be more gentle and think about the finish, not the win. Oh, <laughs> 